It was a frenzy of people, police, and media on the lone road up Burnaby Mountain as they converged into the proposed site of the new Trans Mountain Pipeline. No means no. No With individuals hours away from violating the court-imposed injunction and enforcement order to stop obstructing Kinder Morgan's work, people seemed undeterred. I mean, it's been, as you see, like pretty celebratory. Um, I think. I think folks always feel pretty incredible when they actually take a stand instead of just being kind of screwed over. Earlier in the day, Trans Mountain representatives read out the injunction to individuals assembled on the mountain. In a release, they expressed their hope that people would respect the court order, but continue to express their views in a respectful manner. Burnaby RCMP say they have an open dialogue with protesters and would be using discretion in their assessment of the situation, with no plans on making any arrests at the 4 p.m. deadline. We are in constant dialogue, not only with the protest group, but with the, uh, with the company that sought the enforcement order. And we're getting that clarified, and hopefully we'll have that tomorrow with specifics and a, an opportunity for people to peacefully demonstrate in an area close by. Those that have been camped in the park for over two months are known by organizers as the caretakers. They told us that they are willing to get arrested to protect this mountain. Today is one mark, one step in this march for justice. Today is one step that we're all making together. And it's time that we start to reach out and bring other people to march with us. Because we will win this fight, we will stop this pipeline, I guarantee you that. Kinder Morgan's injunction has now taken effect, yet hundreds of people are still here singing and speaking as the night wears on. Police have yet to make any public arrests, but they say they'll reassess the situation tonight and into the morning. Corey Correa in Burnaby for BCIT Magazine.